I've been coming to this island since I was 12 years old. It didn't take me long to realize the rich history it has here. When I bought this island in 2018, I fulfilled a lifelong dream. The goal is not only to preserve the memories I made over those years, but to make new ones and to give others the opportunity to do the same. As we go through this process, it has become clear to me, we aren't just rebuilding an island, we're reviving a legend. Today, it's a beautiful day. A little squall went by, low pressure fell off on us. Maybe they're gonna come up and bite. We need the big one today. My old time friend that was the dock master here, or the dive master here at Walker's for many, many years, she gave me this the other day and says, Billy, this is for good luck in the Walker's tournament. Sue Graves was her name, sweet, nice lady. Well, I went to work on this boat in Grenada in 1972. I flew down there and went to work for the guy that owned it. And I went down with kind of a speculation to buy it because I was looking for a 50 foot or bigger Hatteras. And this was the biggest Hatteras they made at that time, the 50 footer here. So. I worked for him for almost a year and he decided he wanted to sell it. So I bought it in Grenada in 73 and I chartered out of there for two more years. I left there, or three more years, I left there in 76. And uh, I worked my way back to Florida and the Bahamas and Got to Florida and then over to Walker's K in January 77. I've been here that many years, 47 years is it? We figured yeah, that this totally morning, right now, 47 years. Well, we got a little ground swell today here. So I think I'm just gonna ease on out. I know a bunch of these boats wanna haul buggy, but I'm not much of a go fast guy. Yeah, you, know, you wanna, you were asking me about Richard Nixon. Bob brought, was a good friend with Richard Nixon and B.B. Rebozo. And he would come over here and bring Nixon on the sea lion. They would fish all over. And then when the sea lion two would be up, he'd take it up to New York to Montauk. Nixon and Bob and all of them would come over and fish with me. They would come on the Duchess. So I got to know Nixon pretty good. He used to sit right where you're sitting there and talk to me about Vietnam. I was in Vietnam 67 and 68 and he was asking me a lot about Vietnam. So yeah I knew I knew him pretty well. Tell you what he didn't like the ocean. He liked to go on the bank and anchor up and catch yellowtail and mutton snapper. That's what we did mostly anchor up and bottom fish chum and catch yellowtails and mutton snapper. Yeah, the Northwest humps off Walker's Key. I caught up one here, Lady Angler 694 on 80 pound test. And as far as I know, it's still a Walker's Key record for a lady on 80. 
nice big fish. We could take one like that today and be real happy. Yeah, I think uh, the Grand Slam just let one go, and uh, Nate, he's on that boat filming, so hopefully he got some good shots. leg you know this is secretariat we're on here she's just waiting to run yeah stables opened at eight but we're still trotting sky on the fly here has been fishing with us longer than me and Jack have he's been on the boat I don't know since boat four ago or something like that but He's here throwing the pitch. This is the team here on the Grand Slam. Got our Yeti chairs around the campfire. We call it the chair of the campfire because we're always telling stories around it, you know? All right, this is season number two, season number two. So we came last year, had some really good fishing, saw a really big one. Came again this year, seen two nice ones. Having a good time, weather's been perfect. The dock scenery's been great. Everything's awesome. Just having fun with my friends, you know. Yesterday was slow, but we stayed in the pack. And it's day three, we need a big day. Big day. good day we uh, caught two blues a white a sail hooked another blue rider for lines out maybe might miss one or two more it's a very good day fishing was good now we've been here all uh, all the other two years all three years we've been here for everything it's been fun the first year uh, I think we got fifth and won a daily so we've had good luck here uh, walkers is great there's everything there's uh, flats fishing bottom fishing offshore fishing tuna fishing mahi billfish it's uh, it's a great spot it's uh, it's really nice that it's open again it's a uh, place that I used to come a long time ago, and it's uh, really nice to see it back in action. Ah, the biggest memory I would have would have to say the lobster trap. I'll leave it at that. Uh, it started off a little slow, slower than the past two days. Caught a single sail at like 9.15, set back out, caught another single sail, and uh, Captain Ron wasn't really feeling the spot, so made a big move and set back out about 10, 15 minutes into resetting. Uh, get a blue marlin up on the teaser, the fish fades off and ends up eating the left long. Hook that fish and uh, put up a fight and got the release on him, set back out, 
real quick, not even two minutes later, hooked a triple header sail. Um, so yeah, unfortunately lost the double header blue. Um, what a really helped us out. Yeah, man, just happy for everybody, really, man. It was sick fishing. Some of the best fishing I've ever seen in the Bahamas and just happy to be a part of it. Walkers, man, it's uh, definitely a special place. Very historic and, you know, just the Bahamas alone, man, you putts out a couple miles and you're catching the coolest fish in the ocean, the most badass fish ever. And uh, We had a pretty good day to uh, finish out the tournament for us. Uh, made a decision and uh, stuck to it and uh, ended up paying off for us and followed the water and uh, got some bites and my boys swung perfect. So we caught everything we saw. We couldn't ask for anything better. Phil, the owner, pitched one and um, it uh, ended up getting tail wrapped and uh, it was a kind of finesse fight and it was fishing in big, big swells and uh, it was just a really kind of tedious battle and uh, we all persevered and took our time and that fish really counted for us. That was important as a team. I got to be honest, this, uh, this probably was uh, the most fish we've seen uh, in all the years I've been coming to the Bahamas. This, this season was fantastic and to see all the boats really do well and see a lot of fish. Uh, man, you can't ask for any better than that. And I mean, what I consider this is our backyard. So, uh, you know, so close to home, this is, this is pretty awesome. Sick day. Uh, we saw four blue marlins and we caught four blue marlins. Uh, we caught one out of two sails. So only missed one today. Started off uh, pretty tough a uh, couple of days before there. We missed a, a pile of fish. Everybody was down on themselves and uh, just try to keep, you know, the uh, the focus and and the good vibes going. Oh man, it was uh, the vibe was completely up and down. I mean, everybody kept uh, you know kept the good vibe going, but you could tell things were down. You'd have to ask people like, "Hey, you still having a good time?" <laughs> so we got three and a half days of fishing. I think we saw 17 blue marlins in three and a half days. Uh, this is the best Bahamas fishing that I've seen. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, throughout, no matter where we've been. The mystique of this place is off the charts. I mean, there's no other rock in the ocean out here that I, that you feel when you come into. You feel the vibes and you get it. And uh, it, everybody that's here, you, you become one crew total with all the boats. And uh, everybody's out for the same thing, which is just having a great time fishing. And uh, this place has so much to offer for it. Um, uh, so many different uh, variables of fishing and uh, diving and everything else. It's it's definitely one of our favorites. Well, it started off pretty slow. We had a couple sail bites and then a lot of hours of nothing. Um, and we missed one, raised another one that didn't eat. And we were lucky enough to raise a double and catch them both. So that kind of saved the day for us. And our good friends on the old number seven and the big stick had a great day. Um, fishing around them all day, it was awesome to see them do well. And uh, it's great to be back at Walker's. I haven't been here since I was 12 uh, with my dad on the charter boat. And uh, it's a great experience. The island looks great. Marina's great. Great group of guys here and uh, people that work here are really awesome. So it was, it was a nice week for sure. K. Maravilla Rum. Taste the treasure. We have turned into the Venezuela of the Bahamas here. There are pictures of flags stacked up on the outriggers that literally are giving me goosebumps right now because this fishing was probably the best fishing, not only in this term, but maybe in the last decade in the Bahamas. As I'm, I'm gonna go that far. We had boats with career day and incredible, incredible. Leading the pack was Big Stick. They yeah. came in with 11 flags today. Yeah. That is unbelievable. It's so exciting to see them come in. Yeah, I think there's 156 billfish total. A few uh, mahi, wahoo, big tuna came in today. So uh, a lot of excited people were going in for our award ceremony tonight. It's been really exciting and uh, we've had so many people tell us this is the best tournament they've ever had, been to. And I can't tell you how that makes us feel when we hear that. Is, you know, it's really nice to hear people say that this is the only tournament that everybody stays together on the docks. 
it's really lovely the camaraderie to the togetherness and it's a, a bit of a throwback i think yeah. and it, it really provides for a very festive fun atmosphere and we're so yeah. thrilled everybody came out Like and subscribe for more Walker Skate content. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms. And as always, we can't wait to see you here at Walker Skate.